Okay, this is a controller for the big kiln. Fairly straightforward. Um, if for some reason the instructions aren't lying around, it's pretty easy to find them on the internet. Um, it's getting on a bit, it won't last much longer. Um, electronic goods are, are, are made to last a certain number of hours, so this has been going for a good few years now. Um, so there is a chance that it will pack up fairly soon. On the shelf in here there is uh, a new timer, uh, an upgraded model of this made by a different company but it's, it's more or less the same thing uh, and that's just waiting to go on here because we managed to get it at a decent price. Uh, so that's in stock ready just in case this one does fail. Uh, so we've got on the left we've got a run button so that will turn the program on or off. Okay, so you can see a little green light coming on at the bottom there. Uh, we've got a step button, so that shows you the program numbers. Uh, it shows you the delay time. It shows you um, the, target, the, the ramp rate for the first there, and then the target for the end of the ramp one. Then the ramp rate for the second ramp and the target for the end of the ramp right there so you can see at 980 that is a biscuit fire uh, you can then set a time for uh, a soak at the top uh, and then it finishes okay it's it's a fairly simple programmer compared with a lot of ones that are available at the moment it couldn't be used for glass because you can't control the down ramp rate uh, and there's only a couple of points where you can stop it uh, and if you wanted to you can't actually hold it at different temperatures so it's, it's a fairly simple pottery firing controller okay okay I want to come in tomorrow uh, and the current time is half past 12 lunch time I want to come in tomorrow about half 10 uh, and put the bung in this so it can finish its firing up to 980 with the bung in so I'm going to need to put a delay in um, so if we go on to step one, program two we know is okay, that's, that's going to be the biscuit fire program. So at the moment it's got a seven hour delay, and I want to put that up to ten hours. Okay, uh, I want it to come on about half ten tonight. So I'll put that up to ten hours, so you're moving numbers up and down with those buttons. Uh, it's going to go up at 40 degrees per hour after that 10 hour delay uh, and that's going to go up to 450 which means that if it comes on about half 10 tonight by sort of half past 10 tomorrow it'll be ready for the bungo in at about 450 500 it doesn't matter if it gets a bit hotter if i come down a bit later on uh, and it would probably fire up to 980 with the bung out um, but i'd rather put the bung in and save a little bit of power there so checking the next so 10 hour delay, 40, hour, uh, 40 degrees per hour up to 480, so that's 12 hours. So then I'm going to go at 150 degrees an hour up to 980. Uh, I'm going to actually drop that down a little bit because the kiln is quite full. Uh, I'm going to bring that number down to about 120 and that's going to go up to 980 it will hang on to 980 for 10 minutes and then turn itself off okay so program 2 press run that's now on delay for program 2 so it will come on at half 10 tonight